Thick on roof, in the rain, you can hit me with the words you fling All right, South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts here, Bangkok, Thailand, ahead of one, Fight Night 11. I'm with my guy, Tommy Lang Aka. Have I got that right this time? That's correct now. I've been working <laughs> on it, you know, since we last <laughs> spoke a few months ago. Uh, yeah, no, in all seriousness, how you do, how you been doing, man? Last time I saw you, you called your shot. You said, I want the title fight. You manifested it. It's happening now. Here we go. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a good camp. It's been uh, very focused. I've been traveling a lot, training with a uh, high level. And uh, yeah, I feel prepared for um, for the fight. Yeah, we just spoke to the champ, mm. Mr. Ruotolo. He said he's going to put on his most spectacular victory yet in one championship. i got to think you're going to be thinking I'm going to put a stop to that, huh? Yeah, like uh, I... I, uh, I um, demand nothing else from the champ like uh, I want a good fight a good scrap he, uh, he's a young very talented uh, champion and uh, I'm here for a good scrap so it's going to be a good show yeah I mean he, he did admit you're the highest level he's faced here in one championship it was a compliment so that must be nice to hear right yeah it's nice to hear it's um, but I'm very confident in my own skills so uh, this is going to be uh, yeah it's going to be a good fight yeah, a lot of people probably think you're the underdog, you know, and uh, is that something you think is fair or do you think they're wrong? I, uh, I, I don't really mind. Like, uh, it's quite obvious that I'm going to be the underdog. He's been uh, killing it right now. He won the ADCC. He's the champion one. So, like, uh, he's, he deserves the number one spot. So, but I'm here to show that I'm better. And uh, I have a ton of experience coming into it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a show. Does that give you any motivation as well to kind of derail the hype train, so to speak? Absolutely. I love that uh, that uh, underdog story to it, and uh, I've done it before. I beat uh, beat champions before, and uh, while all the odds were against me, and uh, it's a thrill, you know. And uh, now I'm here again, and I'm going to do the same. What would that do for you, Tommy? If, if you take his name, if you take Kate Rotolo's name, how does that like, build your reputation? It just cements my own confidence and uh, puts my name out there uh, amongst the best in the in the submission grappling. I've always been in the top ones, but uh, like I just need to get that final step going. And uh, now against Kate, that's going to be the final step. And I saw you you celebrated a little bit in Bangkok last time. Have you got plans if you win this? I guess the celebrations will be even bigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, it's going to be a little bit of celebration. I got my crew with me. I got my father and my brother. So it's uh, I'm in good company. Yeah, and you got a bonus last time out. You're targeting another one, I imagine, here? Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm getting, I've gotten two bonuses. I, I'm eyeing for the third. Uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I can't say I'm not. <laughs> well, well Chattery's here, and we've seen he's been getting his wallet out in Denver. He gave Rod Tang 100K. Yep. Maybe a double bonus if you can finish <laughs> Cage Rotolo. I would love a double bonus. That would be great. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to be my main focus. My main focus is going to be uh, taking out the champ. And, like, the, res the result's going to speak for itself. And I am very confident in both me and Cade and uh, our skill that we're going to put on a good show. So, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's obviously focused on this, this match. But, you know, I think the brothers are both talking about going into MMA as well in one championship. Do you think that could be a little dangerous for them to not fully focus on grappling? Maybe they take their eye off slightly? Both yes and no. It's like they're so... Uh, they've done jiu-jitsu for so long, and like uh, I doubt that they take easy on any fight that they're given, and especially now, uh, as they're in a very good positioning uh, with holding the belt. And, yeah, they're, try they're preparing for MMA, but they're still young. Their body is still... They can do, they can do a lot. So, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't put any expectation to them, like uh, overseeing them at all. Uh, I expect them to give it all when they accept the fight. All right, and everyone's talking about Gordon Ryan at the moment. I asked Kade, you know, his transformation. He put some pictures out, had some health issues. You got anything, to, any thoughts about Gordon and all that? I see the cameras are coming in now. They want this clickbait. I'm staring up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so uh, steroids in uh, in martial arts is a big problem, and it's a thing we got to get rid of. And uh, yeah, it's I actually don't have any message. They can do whatever the fuck they want. They yeah. they're adults. I don't care. I'm confident in my own work. So yeah. Yeah, we saw Mikey Musumeci put out you know his drug test results after mm. his last match. Uh, is that something you would like to do as well to 
you, you you're fighting for a clean sport, I imagine. Yeah, I've always been um, been a um, uh, how can I say a uh, pi not pioneer, but uh, somebody that fights for a clean sport. I've been known for this in uh, Europe and in in the world in the top scene um, that we can you can reach the top without having to use performing hand skills. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to keep that trend going. All right. Well, I got nothing else. Mr. Lengaka, what's going to happen Saturday morning at Lumpini Stadium? It's going to be a good show with uh, ending in a submission. And a little bit later this time, you're not the first the first fight. I think you were first last time or second. Yeah. Get a little bit more sleep, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm uh, now I'm a little bit more uh, aware of the time schedule than the last time. So now I'm uh, I get a little bit more sleep. I get to yeah watch some fights and tune in cr proper. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Don't miss it. I think this is going to be the most highly skilled matchup in grappling we've seen in one championship. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, you cannot miss this one, guys. Title fight, one fight night, 11. See you there. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give them a follow.